because I don't know if I can trust you. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're discussing how Black Widow's post credit scene sets up the Hawkeye miniseries. Things are about to get weird. Just like Budapest all over again. You and I remember Budapest very differently. I'm trying to save your life, you idiot. Yeah, well, I don't want you to. What's that? In case you haven't seen Black Widow or several other recent entries in the MCU, this is your spoiler warning. What did you think of Black Widow? Are you hyped for Hawkeye? Let us know in the comments. In addition to being her first solo movie and a prequel of sorts, Black Widow is a bittersweet farewell for Natasha Romanoff. I think it's bittersweet. You know, I, I've had an incredible decade uh, working with my Marvel family. With the multiverse being teased for several upcoming projects, it's entirely possible we'll see Scarlett Johansson suit up again. Maybe she'll play Natasha from an alternate reality, or perhaps time travel will enter the mix. In any case, Black Widow doesn't retcon the sacrifice she made on Vormir in Avengers Endgame. Sacrifice her life for that goddamn stone. She put her life on it. She's not coming back. If the film's post credit scene is any indication, Natasha's end will significantly shape Hawkeye's future. Although Tony Stark got a tear-jerking funeral, some fans were frustrated that Natasha didn't receive a similar send-off. At the end of Black Widow, we got to see Natasha's secluded memorial. Covered with gifts and decorations, it's clear that Natasha was mourned by her fellow heroes. The grave is presumably empty, though, as Clint Barton wasn't able to reclaim her body from Vormir upon obtaining the Soul Stone. Clint, where's Nat? Following the events of Endgame, Yelena Belova visits her sister's grave, dressed as Cher Horowitz. Come on, Fanny. <sighs> Well, Yelena just recently started buying her own clothes. Considering that Clueless came out the same year she left Ohio, 1995, it makes sense that Yelena would model her wardrobe after Alicia Silverstone. Speaking of actors who rose to superstardom in the 90s, Yelena is soon joined by Contessa Valentina Allegra de Fontaine, played by Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Sorry. I'm allergic to the Midwest. Fontaine made her MCU debut in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, where she recruited John Walker. Valentina Allegra de Fontaine. Actually, it's Contessa Valentina Allegra de Fontaine. I know it's hard, but I don't like to repeat myself, so you can just call me Val. Following his short-lived stint as Captain America, Fontaine gave him the new moniker of U.S. Agent. This wasn't intended to be Fontaine's introduction, however. Due to delays caused by the pandemic, Marvel was forced to shift their release schedule around. Originally, Fontaine would have made her first appearance in Black Widow's post credit scene. Bothering you? Oh, no, no, no. I'm just here paying my respects. Mm -hmm. Since Black Widow is the first feature in Phase 4, Fontaine's presence mirrors Nick Fury's surprise cameo at the conclusion of Iron Man. Who the hell are you? Nick Fury, director of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm here to talk to you about the Avenger Initiative. Will Fontaine be the next Fury or a devious foe, though? In the comics, Fontaine serves as the leader of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s Femme Force, developing a complicated dynamic with Sharon Carter and a romantic relationship with Nick Fury. After becoming the new Madam Hydra, Fontaine is seemingly revealed to be a double agent. As it turns out, she's a triple agent. Fontaine betrays Hydra to deliver an artifact known as the Box to Leviathan, a Soviet terrorist group. Fontaine's Russian background gives her a potential link to Yelena, although her MCU history is still unfolding. While Fontaine remains a mysterious player, we can safely say that Yelena is now working for her. In the post credit scene, Fontaine gives Yelena her next assignment. Maybe you'd like a shot at the man responsible for your sister's death. Handing her a photo of Clint Barton, Fontaine identifies him as the one responsible for Natasha's death. Of course, we all know that Clint did everything in his power to take Natasha's place on Vormir. Clint held on for dear life until he was finally given no choice but to let Natasha go. 
It's possible that Fontaine has been feeding Yelena a different story, however. Maybe Fontaine led Yelena to believe that Clint forced Natasha off the cliff, just as Thanos threw Gamora to her doom. Even if Yelena knows what really happened, she might be feeling some animosity towards Clint for not saving Natasha. Deep down, Yelena could also be experiencing guilt concerning her sister's death. Since she wasn't present in Endgame, Yelena may have turned to dust along with half of all life in the universe. This would make Natasha's sacrifice even more personal, giving up her life so her sister could live. If this is indeed the case, a part of Yelena might blame herself for Natasha's demise. Rather than confront that guilt, though, Yelena could take it out on Clint. Does that mean Yelena will assassinate Clint in Hawkeye? After all, the miniseries is supposed to be a passing of the torch. Or the, the bow and arrow in this case. Hey, Clint. Hey, man. Clearly, retirement doesn't suit you. You got tired of shooting golf? Well, I played 18. Shot 18. This can't seem to miss. Clint's retirement as Hawkeye has been building for a while now. Before turning to his darker Ronin persona in Endgame, Clint called his daughter Lila Hawkeye. Mind your elbow. <laughs> Good job, Hawkeye. Although this led many to believe that Lila would take up her father's mantle, the miniseries will focus on Clint mentoring Kate Bishop, played by Haley Steinfeld. I can't wait for people just to see how we are interpreting this character through the comics um, and, and in our own sort of ways. Um, she's such a badass, there's no denying that. She's so smart and witty and quick. Since Kate is poised to be the new Hawkeye, the miniseries could mark Clint's last stand. It would certainly be a shocking turn of events if Clint died at Yelena's hands. That said, Marvel did just spend an entire film establishing Yelena as a hero. Even if she does target Clint, we have a hard time believing she will go through with it. You know, I wish there was a way that I could let her know. But we won. We did it. She knows. Whatever awaits, Florence Pugh will return as Yelena in the miniseries, but we still don't know the extent of her role. Maybe she'll make a brief cameo, maybe she'll have an episode-long arc, or maybe she'll be an integral supporting player throughout. We suspect the series will see Yelena and Clint cope with Natasha's death, ultimately finding comfort in one another. After all, what is grief if not… well, you get the gist. What is grief if not love? persevering. Hawkeye may also reveal Fontaine's true motivations. Between Yelena and John Walker, Fontaine appears to be putting together a team. Keep your phone on. Will do, Val. Don't call me that. It's been theorized that said team is the Thunderbolts, a group of mostly reformed villains. General Thunderbolt Ross's presence in Black Widow might be hinting at this as well. Rumors suggest that the MCU's incarnation of the Thunderbolts could consist of Walker, Yelena, and Zemo. His plans changed. We have business to do. The latter two were both prominent Thunderbolts in the comics, although U.S. Agent got his arm and leg severed by them. For a period in the comics, Clint Barton becomes the leader of the Thunderbolts. With that in mind, the Hawkeye miniseries might not be the end for Clint. Rather, it may be a new beginning, signifying his transition from Avenger to Thunderbolt. Although nobody can take Natasha's place, the miniseries could also further solidify Yelena's status as the new Black Widow. As Clint and Yelena ally themselves with the Thunderbolts, Kate Bishop may join up with another team, the Young Avengers. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. The ads for Black Widow say face the past, reveal the future. We're a family. We fight with you. While that future isn't set in stone, we're just happy that Yelena will be a part of it. For that reason alone, Hawkeye cannot get here soon enough. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.